when Millie the bear girl was very small, she said boo or something like that. But Mama Bear and Papa Bear knew what she meant and read her a picture book. Soon Millie had a lot of books and when she grew up she said, please read a picture book. Millie lived with her parents in the cozy bear house at the back of the forest and had a good time. Especially in summer. Mama and Papa Bear always had time to read her books. First Papa Bear read, then Mama Bear, then Papa Bear again and so on. That's how it was every day in summer, morning, afternoon, evening and sometimes at night. But when autumn came, there was no time for reading. Papa and Mama Bear had to work, right after breakfast, gather supplies for the winter. Shop wood, catch fish, harvest honey. There wasn't even time for a tiny, tiny picture book. Should I read something to myself? Millie cried indignantly. That's a good idea, said Papa Bear. You can play something and snack honey, said Mama Bear. Honey was the best thing ever. But Millie didn't want to eat or to play. She wanted to be sad and wave to her parents until they disappeared into the forest. Collecting supplies takes forever, all day long and much, much longer. Then Millie had an idea. She wanted to give Mum and Dad time. Then they could work and read a picture book. But where do you get time? You buy it, thought Millie. She took money from her piggy bank and a large bag from the kitchen. And then she made her way to the drugstore for soap and toothpaste. A bag full of time, please, said Millie politely and showed her money and bag. We don't have time. We only sell soap and toothpaste. Mr. Hamster, the salesman, snapped, looked grim and harshly sent Millie away. Good advice was expensive, but now... No matter, the animals definitely sell time in the forest, thought Millie, and went straight on into the deep wood. It was dim and a bit scary there, but Millie wasn't afraid. She was a strong bear girl. First she met the busy mouse. Mrs. Mouse, said Millie in a friendly manner, can I buy time from you? Time is running, the mouse chirped, had to feed her children and scurried away. Doesn't matter, thought Millie, and continued walking until she almost stepped on a snail. Haste makes waste, the snail whistled when Millie asked for time and disappeared into her house. Again nothing. The deer didn't have time either and had to eat. When time comes, a twice comes, pleaded the sheep and the bowl lisped, it's all a waste of time, before he crumbled away. Suddenly there was a strange cracking sound in the bushes, and then the clever fox appeared. What is a little bear child doing all alone in the middle of the forest? He asked and licked his lips. I want to buy time, said Millie boldly. Time is money, cried the fox. He grabbed Millie's penny and jumped away. He even didn't ask her. You can't buy time anyway caught the large, long-eared owl on the branch opposite. And how can I get time? Millie shouted angrily. Ask the sun, caught the owl. In fact, it soon became dark. Hello, dear Miss Sun, Millie called quickly. Can you give me some time, please? My time is over, the sun whispered, smiled and sat behind the mountains. Now it was completely dark. Money gone, pocket empty, without time, no picture book at all, Millie cried. Besides, she would never find her way home in the dark. Oh, if she had stayed at home, then she could at least snack some honey. Millie was hungry like a big bear by now. Oh, 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 she would perish miserably in the forest. Suddenly light fell on her back. Millie looked up. The moon shone directly above her, big, round, bright and wise. Then Millie told him about her great distress. Without time, her parents could never read a book to her again. Everything has its own time, said the moon reassuringly. And now it is time to go home, he continued, lighting the way for Millie through the forest and towards a penny on the ground, who probably lost it. 
Millie picked it up quickly and finally reached the cozy bear house. Papa and Mama Bear had long since returned from collecting supplies and were looking forward to the baby bear who just entered the house. Sorry, I don't have time for you, said Millie and showed her empty bag. Shouldn't we read a picture book to you anymore, asked Mama, and she and Papa looked puzzled. Now Millie looked puzzled, but only for a short while. Yippee, she shouted. Of course they should read her a book, no matter where they get the time from. And Mama Bear and Papa Bear read, and in between Millie was allowed to snack some honey, and then they continued reading and reading until the sun rose. <laughs> 